in Canada, although we sort of have this image that we are, you know, pretty good at doing that, that's, I think, only true really relative to the US. We are much better than the US at following public health guidelines, but we're not that good compared to a lot of the parts of the world. Canada continues to see record daily case numbers of COVID-19. The nation celebrated flattening the curve in the spring, but is now looking at an exponential growth curve. Epidemiologists say the curve can still be turned down, but action has to happen now, not later. It can be completely brought back under control, even from exponential growth. Uh, that was happening in Australia um, in July, and then they brought it down to zero cases. It's been zero cases for several weeks now, um, just through much stricter, like, you know, quarantining and so on than we've done. In a linear curve, Canada would see COVID cases grow at a fixed rate. Three one day, six the next, nine on the third. Right now, Canada's COVID rate looks more like an exponential curve. Three one day, six, then 12, and then 24. Robert Smith is a mathematician and epidemiologist. He says COVID is a perfect storm of conditions, highly infectious with a long lead time before symptoms show, meaning one person can infect many more before even thinking they need a test. Diseases like Ebola, they kind of just burn themselves out because they basically kill everyone they're going to infect. And, you know, yes, your whole village gets infected, but, you know, people die before they can kind of reach the next village. Canada celebrated planking the curve in the spring, but new projections from Ontario show the province on track for up to 6,000 cases daily by Christmas. Intensive care units in Manitoba and B.C. are near capacity. Quebec is looking at school closures. Alberta doctors warn that a health system crisis is imminent. Colin Furness is an infection control specialist. He says governments across Canada have been too eager to listen to the business lobby to open up and singles out Doug Ford for particular criticism. Pressure on governments, lobbyists, trade associations, the restaurant lobby, they've all been pushing really hard for opening. And up until this week, Mr. Ford has been saying the new framework, which I think is, is on the verge of genocidal, uh, this new framework is what we're doing. We're going to scale back testing in Ontario, which we've done, and we're going to open everything up, which is actually Mr. Trump's playbook. So Ontario is starting to resemble the U.S., not in outcomes yet, but in strategy. In Ottawa, Shao Lee, City News.